Hi, this is Kerry Artek with Wicked Stocks, bringing you your daily Apple report for Monday, March 25th, 2024. But before I walk you through the charts, as usual, just want to encourage you to please click like if you haven't already. Subscribe to the Wicked Stocks YouTube channel. Share the content, if you would, with friends and colleagues. And check out WickedStocks.com, where we offer a full suite of both daily and weekly analytical videos just like this one. Daily analysis in the SPY and the Triple Q, that is the S&P 500 and NASDAQ 100 ETFs. Weekly analysis in the S&P 500 index, the NASDAQ 100 index, the long bond ETF, the TLT, as well as two individual stock picks a week that you never see on YouTube. That is eight a month that cater to the three to five week swing trader out to the three to five month near term investor. We're always looking for at least 20% moves on those stock picks. And you can check out all of this for no cost for five days. We offer a five-day free trial up front with a WickedStocks.com subscription. So sign up for WickedStocks.com. Check it all out. If you don't like what you see within five days, you can cancel your subscription at no cost to you whatsoever. Let's take a look at the charts. I will start with this one here. No, I will not. I'm sorry. I don't know. <laughs> I should just eliminate that chart because I've reduced the significance of this area. Uh, yes, can contain weekly selling pressures, but really... The way I see it, this is our base of long-term support that is above all that. 167.13 this week with the 1% slippage factor, 165.45. This is your aggressive buy zone, not only for day traders, three to five day swing traders, three to five week swing traders, and three to five month near-term investors. I do see this as an area that can contain selling through the second quarter, and from here we can round back up. Now, if we do close the week Friday at 165.45 or lower, then just the opposite. Uh, all of the mentioned, all the above mentioned, including three to five and especially three to five month near term investors play the short side. And that could mean either shorting Apple stock. It could mean reaching for 135, 140 strike out of the money puts that don't expire I would go a year out on that expiration date. I see it as a three to five month move, but it could take the better part of six months. And uh, you really don't want an expiration that is inside that time horizon. Uh, that would be the objective where 136.40 could contain selling through the rest of the year, possibly well into 25, but not unless we close below 167.13. And, uh, you know, following last week's announcement by the Department of Justice, the anti trust filing and so forth and so on. Uh, I do see this market still on the defensive below 174.28. This uh, former, I call it former channel bottom, still a channel bottom, but we violated it. So now it is resistance, a former channel bottom, able to contain buying for the day itself. This is also a level that three to five day swing traders can consider shorting. So, you know, I could call this a weekly resistance, but we are so darn close, really, in the overall scheme of things to the 167.13 long term support uh, that, uh, you know, we could recoil nicely once again to the upside. So 174.28 is your day resistance, able to contain daily buying pressures, day traders, and possibly into later week, three to five day swing traders. Downside today, I still have 170.73 as uh, the high of the low. Yes, we can slip below it as we have twice in the last week and a half or so, uh, but closing below 170.73 today, I think we should Tuesday, Wednesday, then test 167.13, where we can bottom out uh, possibly through the rest of the year. And so if you're short the market right now, following the settlement last Thursday below the 174.12 formation, you can hold out three to five day swing traders for taking profit at 167.13 and reversing and going long. Uh, back to, I'm not quite sure where we could expect it at that point in time. We'll just have to see what the chart says at that point in time. Now, preceding 174.28, we have this former channel bottom at 173.45. I just have that as a minor point. All the minor points have been ca carefully chosen as usual. The most significant minor point is once again, 170.73. Now upside today, if we happen to close above 174.28, this 180.38, uh, three eighths upside Fibonacci is then likely within three to five days. This will probably be bumped up to a weekly resistance area if that occurs, just so you know. I actually, now that I think about it, could have called this a three star resistance. I think you can expect as much if we get that buy signal today, because you, if you can imagine, I can see that there is a channel top now. If you take a trend line off of these lows and project it against this high, 
It actually is in the upper 170s, low 180s. So closing today above 174.28, pivots the market north for the next two to three, three to five days into the 180.38 region. You can expect us to bump this up to a three-star resistance where we could top out through next week and fall away again into next week. It would be a settlement at this point in time above 180.38 that would signal where are you? Do I even show it? I can show some variation of it, and it is basically right here, this 184.70 descending channel top. There's also a descending two-thirds speed line that is just above it, and this is the kind of the big midterm resistance. So I do not, how should I put this? I think you can expect and plan for 184.70 under two circumstances. One is a testing of 167.13. Bottom picking 167.13, holding out three to five weeks later for the descending 184.70 channel top. Or it could also be a settlement above 180.38, which, as I say, will be bumped up. And you know, the overall scheme of things is not much. I mean, well, let's just see how it plays out tomorrow. Um, I do see 180.38, this upper 170s, low 180s, as one that can certainly contain buying through the rest of the week, and we can fall off from here into later week. But in terms of the big resistance, it is a 184 even. It's right about here, that channel top on the weekly chart. So, um, yes, one, sorry, I have 184.70 here. I just thought I saw 184 even. I could be wrong. Uh, it is 184.70. That's right. It's 184.70. And so this is kind of your big picture as we move through April. Buying 167.13, selling this 184.70 resistance. I'm talking to three to five week swing traders. You can play both sides of the market all the way through April off of this area. But 167.13 is the longer term of those two. And once we test it, we can rally into uh, channel resistance, which is in the low 200s over the following three to five months. Make that within one to two months following a settlement above 184.70. And so I'm just going to say right now that it's a bit stair step on the way up. First, we've got 174.28, then we've got 180.38, and then, of course, we have 184.70, which is right about here on the chart. So closing above 174.28, expecting 180.38, three to five day swing trade to the upside, where three to five day swing traders can also play the short side. The market can fall away from there. Closing above 180.38, that 184.70 level I showed you a moment ago, likely within another three to five days. So it is stair step. The only way I'm going to anticipate 184.70 and suggest 184.70 as a clear-cut objective is once we test 167.13. Until then, as I said earlier, holding below 174.28 actually keeps 167.13 in reach this week. Closing above 174.28 neutralizes that, and then uh, we can disregard 167.13 as an objective, at least this week. And then over the next few days, three to five days, expect the low 180s, where we could top out uh, through the rest of the week and into next, so forth and so on. I think that that pretty much summarizes it. I can't think of anything else to say. Please click like, share, subscribe. Check out wickedstocks.com. We offer a five-day free trial. We do two stock picks a week. Last week was Raytheon and Intel. The previous week was Google and something else. I could go on and on and on and on. All of them offering 20% moves that we're always looking for and all of them approaching or at a significant price point line study that will present an early lead on a buy signal that could play out over the next three to five weeks out to three to five months. I'm going to leave it at that for uh, Monday's Apple Report. I'll be back, of course, tomorrow with Tuesdays. Please click like, share, subscribe. Have a great day.